Well, we are learning more about the drunk driving arrest of a Macomb County school bus driver. Police say she crashed the Utica Community Schools bus on a busy road with dozens of students on board. Happened on Hall Road near Shaner in Sterling Heights. This was yesterday afternoon. Larry Spruill went to Henry Ford High School today, where he's hearing from family members who have some serious concerns. Everything happened here at this intersection near Hall and Shaner. Police say that driver crashed a bus here with 40 to 50 students on board. My nephew was actually in the bus crash. That bus crash Ebony Cochran is talking about happened on Tuesday around 4 p.m. Police said the accident only involved a Utica school bus driver with Henry Ford the second high students on board. Officers say that bus driver crashed the bus when she went off the road and struck a street sign. Investigators claim they smelled alcohol on the bus driver. That's when they did a breath test, which resulted in a point 10. The driver was arrested. You know, when you send kids to school, whether on a bus or whatever, you want them to be safe. But she says they were not safe, although original reports stated no students were injured. One of the things that we noticed that was being reported was that no children were hurt in the crash. And my nephew was on that bus and he was in fact hurt. He had an internal brain bleed on the back of his head and back of his brain. And then he has a concussion. Ebony tells me he's currently in the hospital recovering. My sister should be here speaking on her own behalf, but she's there with him. Now, I reached out to the Utica School District Superintendent Robert Monroe released this statement. It says the safety of our students is the number one priority for Utica Community Schools as we work in partnership with the Sterling Heights Police Department. The individual is no longer operating a bus in Utica Community Schools, and there will be a thorough investigation as we closely follow all employee policies and procedures. Now, I just spoke with the Sterling Heights Police Department, and they tell me that that bus driver will be facing charges. Now, what those charges are, that will be determined by the prosecutor's office. But we do know that she will at least face driving under the influence. Larry Sproul, Local 4.